Oh my God, let me just get one more drink and we'll get into these hand soaps. Hey, it's your girl Kita, and welcome to my channel, More Kita, and welcome to day 15 of Slay Miss. Now, today's video is gonna be kind of a lighthearted content type of a video because today was an extremely long day at work for me, and I am feeling the sniffles coming on right now. I'm not feeling too good. I wanna catch it before it gets too bad, so I'm definitely gonna go ahead and get in the bed a lot earlier tonight. But today's video is gonna feature some hand soaps that I picked up from Bath and Body Works. Now this is not all hand soaps, y'all. Don't think I don't went crazy. Some of this is some gifts. I'm not gonna go through those, but I'm definitely gonna talk about the hand soap. So if that's something that you're interested in seeing, then go ahead and keep on watching. Now I typically don't do this type of content. I shop at Bath and Body Works, but I only shop there when there is a sale and I have a really good coupon, not just any old coupon, like a really good coupon. So I don't think I'm like a good resource for Bath & Body Works. However, if you really do like this type of content, definitely go ahead and check out my girl, Kayla. She is like the Bath & Body Works guru, y'all. Like she <laughs> is the Bath & Body Works guru. She will give it to you, all the ins and outs, the tips, the tricks, all of it. I will definitely be sure to leave her information in the description box below if you are interested in that type of content. As I mentioned, go on and check this out. Let her know that I sent you if you do go ahead and follow her. Now, Bath & Body Works hand soaps is definitely a staple in my household. We get them all the time. And when we get them, we try to get a couple more so we can just kind of stock them up and use them. So I only have two left in my stockpile. And the two that I currently have is the Cozy Vanilla Almond and the Thanks and Giving. I'm surprised I still have this one left because typically I do like to use this one during the fall season. And plus the color, the black and the cream goes really well with my half bathroom. But nonetheless, I have it for next year if I don't use it this season. Now, before we get into the ones that I actually did purchase, I wanna go ahead and show you the ones that are currently being used in my house right now. The first one is the afternoon apple picking. Pretty much anything with red apple scent in it, I love for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, when I say what I like, I usually don't just openly say apple, but when I look at the things that I actually do like, it always has some type of apple in it. So this one I really do like. I think this is um, a good scent. And then another one that I have is the pumpkin apple. This is also in rotation at my house right now. As you can see, it's like less than half left. So it's time to, almost time to restock this one. We use it down to the very bottom, y'all, like to where there's none left. Where we screw off the top and pour it in our hand and get the last out. We're not wasting over here. And then right now we also have the white pumpkin that we're using. This one is about halfway done also. I really do like this smell. This has like a really nice, subtle, sweet type of a smell. But this white pumpkin is kind of a subtle and I really do like this one. And then on to my favorite. I buy this one all the time. They didn't have any today in the stores, which I was quite disappointed in, is leaves. I mean, across their entire line of products, the smell of leaves is like one of my favorite scents. One of my favorite scents. And I love it in the hand soap. I love it in the wallflowers too. I actually have a few of them in the wallflowers because what was it, a couple days ago, they had the wallflowers on sale. The only thing that I'm trying to find right now is just a different packaging. And that's a good thing with Bath & Body Works because they do have them in different packaging. But again, leaves is my ultimate favorite. There is literally a little bit left in this. So this one is getting ready to get thrown out and get replaced. But I was kind of disappointed that they didn't have any of these today. All right, so let's go ahead and get into ones that we actually picked up today. The first one that we picked up is the Frosted Cranberry. Um, this one's a, a good smell. It's not my favorite, but it's not the worst. Um, I just smelled it actually now. I didn't smell it when I was in the store, only because we were drawn to the package. This burgundy is absolutely bur uh, beautiful. And shout out to my girl, Inspiration by Lati. She has gotten me hooked on the color burgundy. She always talks about burgundy. It's her favorite color. She bought a bag that's burgundy that I'm obsessed with right now. So she done said it so much, like I'm just kind of obsessed with burgundy at the moment. So that was like really the main reason we picked this up because the packaging was like right on point, right on time for Christmas. And yeah, it, it smells okay. It's not the best, but it smells okay. The next one we picked up is the Champagne Apple and Honey. And Again, the packaging I'm absolutely loving. I actually prefer the White Barn packaging over the Bath & Body Works. Don't get me wrong, that's not gonna stop me from picking up a soap that I absolutely love, 
but I do prefer their packaging over the Bath and Body Works. Um, and this one smells pretty good. I smell another scent in here. I can't figure it out. I smell the amp apple, I smell the honey. In regards to their particular champagne scent, I smell that, but I smell something else. I don't know what it is. I smell something else, but I picked this one up as well. The next one we picked up is the scent Winter. And this one has like the spice orange. I definitely smell orange in this, citrusy. And I really, really do like this. I'm loving this like royal blue color. I think it's so pretty. When I saw it, I keep thinking about all the YouTube babes on here that decorated their home with like royal blue, either this year or last year. Like shout out to y'all. I think this will be really nice in your home. I love citrusy smells too, especially when it comes to cleaning stuff. I love the smell of citrus. The next one is the Bright Autumn Sky. And even though it's not autumn, that is not gonna stop me from picking it up and using it. This one is a good smell. I do like it as well. Um, not my favorite, but I do like this one. And I think this one's gonna work perfectly in our upstairs main bathroom because upstairs it is the, um, we have like gray and a midnight blue. So that other one would kind of work as well. Our vanity is a midnight blue that I painted. It's, it's a deeper blue, so closer to like the black spectrum, but it's not. And I think this will go really, really well with it. And it will really go well with my bathroom floors. My bathroom floors are like a bluish gray color and it has a little bit of tan. And I did the floors myself. That's one thing you guys don't know about me. You guys see the whole fashion aspect or whatever, but I'm actually, I get down and dirty. I'm very handy. I like to use my hands. Um, I feel like I should have been a carpenter in another lifetime, but yeah, I did our bathroom floors and I think this would go really, really well in my bathroom. Now the last one that we picked up is the White Cranberry Cabernet. And I don't know about this one, y'all. I'm still on the fence. When we first smelled it, it smelled like cough syrup. And then I smelled it again. I was like, oh, okay, I kind of like it. And then I smelled it again. I was like, oh, I like it. So we went ahead and picked it up. But then when I just smelled it just now, right before I brought it up for camera, I'm smelling that whole cough syrup all over again. And you know, I'm past that Pedialyte, Pediasure stage. Like my, my child is 18. I'm past that whole cough syrup stage. And that's what it smells like to me. So I'm not sure about this one. I'm definitely on the fence. Let me know if you guys ever smelled the white cranberry Cabernet. And if you did, if you like it, do I just need to give it a chance? Because I haven't actually used it on my hand. So it could potentially give another scent, but just smelling it out the bottle, for the first time again, I'm definitely getting like that great Pedialyte smell. Now it does say white cranberries, jasmine petals, and blonde oak wood. I'm not getting that, I'm, I'm getting Pedialyte. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Bath and Body Works video featuring the hand soaps. And if you did, please go ahead and give your girl a thumbs up. Be sure to check out the description box below. I'll try to leave a link to the items. I may not leave a link to everything only because the Bath and Body Works is pretty accessible to everybody. And because this was an in-store sale, every store has different stocks. So I'm not sure if your store may have it in stock, but I'll try to leave as much as I can. And if you guys are interested in seeing more fashion as well as more lifestyle content, and of course, more Akita, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell. And I will catch you guys in the next one. I'm going to bed, y'all. I am not feeling good. Where is the hot toddy? Maybe I need that Pedialyte. Where is the Pedialyte?